We're going to start adding routes to our application so we can grow the complexity of this app. And so when a user puts in home on the URL, they can get to a certain page and then maybe they go to the top rated, they get the list that we're looking at now, and then maybe they can click into a detailed view of an actual movie. So to do that, we're actually going to make a brand new module called app routing, and we're going to make it by NGG module app routing. And then I'm going to use these flags here flat to put it in the actual root directory of the app folder. And then I'm going to say, put it in the app module. So I'm going to say, module equals app. And so when I fire this off, I'll get a new module created called app routing module. And we'll notice it's already included in the main app module because I gave it that flag there. Now we could technically write all of our routing code here in the main app module, but it can get kind of big and cumbersome. So we're going to go ahead and actually split that off into its own module and follow best practices. So back in our app routing module, we're going to remove the common module because we don't need it here. Uh, the NGCLI added it because most of the time you are using something from the common core library. And we're going to go ahead and import the router module that we need to define actual routes, as well as a route type that will help us define each individual route itself. Now we need to import the router module and make sure you got this defined correctly. We need to import the router module into the imports block of the ng module that we have defined here. And before I actually start defining any routes, I'm going to create a couple more components that we can use for our home page and our detail page. Now that I have a few more components created, I'm going to go ahead and import those because I'm going to have to refer to those components when I define these routes. So I'm going to import my home component, my movie list component, as well as my detail component, which we're just calling movie component. Next, we'll actually start to define the individual routes. So I'm going to hold this in a constant variable called routes of type routes. And this should be routes with an S, not route. So let me fix that real quick. Then we'll actually go down and define each individual route, which is just an object with two properties of path and component. So we'll say path of home is for the home component. And then path of top rated is the movie list, followed by the movie path, which is just going to be the movie component. Next, we're going to take these routes and feed them to the router module. So down in the imports area, it's say router module dot for root, and then feed it the actual routes that we just defined. And then we're going to export the router module so that our main app module itself can use our router module that we just defined. So in the ng module block here, we are importing the router module, we're configuring it, and then we're re-exporting it so it's available to our application. And now that it's available to the app module, our application is breaking. So if we go into the console and look at the error, it's telling me that I cannot start my routes with a forward slash. So make sure you do not do that. I'll remove the forward slash here, refresh, and it keeps on working. But there's still one thing left for me to do. And I have to go into the app module component and I have to take out my movie list because right now the movie list is still displaying for any route that I punch in. And we're going to replace this with the router outlet component that we get from the router module that we're now using in our application. So then once we put this, we can see now all of our views are displaying for the various routes that we defined. Home, top rated, and then back in movie. But we don't want to be typing in URLs all day, so we'll go ahead and make a little navigation back in the app component. And for our link elements, instead of saying href, we're actually going to use a directive called router link, which will take care of building out those link elements for us when Angular compiles. So you can do a couple cool things with router link, like binding properties to it. But for now, we're just going to feed it a string of our actual path that we defined. So we'll say top rated and then top rated. And once we refresh our application, we should get our navigation at the top of the page. And when I click on home, it takes me to the home component and then top rated takes me to the top rated movies.